Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Uh, I'm just feeling the need to get some information out there to my subscribers who might be remnant people. So, if you're not in that category, skip it. But, basically, Hulu, an evil plot to destroy the world. Enjoy. That's Al Baldwin from a commercial. Um, he says, "We're al why? Because we're aliens. That's how we roll. And uh, shout out to Richie from Boston, RFB. This is um, basically, I don't know where he got it, but it's his work. Uh, this goes back, a really old patent. You see a VCR here. Hello. How long has it been since you've seen a VCR and a cathode ray tube monitor? Okay, this is showing the ability of doing mind control. Another one. And this is from a patent nervous system manipulation by electromagnetic fields from monitors. Okay. They have their signals all over the place. Um, okay, this is another Hulu commercial unknown guy here, but he... Uh, is standing on Milton Burles, uh, Hollywood Stars thing. Let me see if I. No, there wasn't one before that. Let me back out. I think I had a fuller sequence of that one. Yes, it starts. All right, we'll start there. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Screenshots. Uh. There we go. Okay. So, he's standing there. The thing drops down. There you go. Starts going down. He goes into some under underground, secret underground enclosure where you are... Um, that's him going down in front of a sidewalk out on the street. Comes into a secret enclosure. Hulu Plus, Hulu Plus, Hulu Plus. This is what you want. This is your brain on TV. This is your brain on Hulu, and this is your brain on Hulu Plus. Blend it up. And this is your brain with a sprig of mint, and he drinks it. And this androgynous looking character here, uh, the hairdo would say it's a guy, balding hair, sideburns, the voice sounds like a woman, but it says, ooh, that's hot. Yep. An evil plot to destroy the world and joy. Okay? And a snake comes out of the jacket. Alec Baldwin. So apparently, he's, they, they didn't show this, but it's in the middle of an H for Hulu or something, and it's like some Masonic symbolism in there. Um, I wish the captions were in English. They're not. Oh, well. It would be a lot easier. But he says, this is where he says, because we're aliens, that's how we roll. It kind of touches his hair, and then it reaches up and fixes his tie. Oh, well. In another one, maybe. So, Hulu, a quantum leap in electronic mind control and manipulation by Dr. A. True Ott, Ph.D. Um, Hulu is shortened for down here, number three. How was the name Hulu formed on December 3rd, 2002? U.S. patent, blah, 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 was issued to a man named Hendrikus, and his nickname was Who, for short. Lou, L-O-O-S, but the S is silent. Who, Lou? Do you think that's why the technology was called Hulu? His abstract using computer monitors and HD TV screens as broadcast medium for digital, pulsed electronic, electromagnetic fields capable of exciting sensory resonances in nearby human subjects, quote, unquote, while the displayed images are pulsed with subliminal intensity, quote, unquote, to bring about a specified emotional and even physical response in humans, viewing the medium, okay? Just a short and sweet, I had a letter from a guy that, um, this week, who started a channel called Kill Your TV, and I tried to find it, and there's so many channels called Good Kill Your TV, I'm going to read it here. So glad to see you're back from your recovery, Jerry. I truly hope you're doing as well as you sound. I'm currently in Kansas City, where I was born, raised, lived most of my 47 years in, and woke up to the truth about the spinning ball earth sci-fi fantasy universe 
being the lie that it so obviously is almost two years ago after about two years of cognitive dissonance after my first viewing of Flat Earth Information and videos around the time of Felix Baumgartner, Red Bull World Record Jump from Space. Yeah, yeah right. Over Mexico, New Mexico. <laughs> I want to come live in homestead somewhere in your area as soon as I can. Muster the confidence to do it as I'm single. It's an easy translation in that regard. But my mother, sister, brother, nieces, nephews I care so much for are a big reason I stay as I am a good influence in their lives. But I know I still need to go and have been drawn toward this move in that area for a long time. My father lives Lake of the Ozark down in Lori and I'm planning to visit him sometime this summer. Would love to come visit you and talk if that would be possible. Absolutely. There are so many things I have in common with you and how you think and see the world that I know that finding you is no accident, as I now know that there is no such thing as a coincidence. Now you see what's happening here. Someone's gone from ag agnostic, basically agnosticism to, or atheism to uh, a for forming of some kind of a belief, at least in supernatural, afterworld, whatever, spiritual world. I started a new channel on YouTube called Kill Your TV after my own hiatus from watching TV almost 100% in the last five years, which is a huge part of why I'm able to see things as clearly as I can now and why I was open to finally break the programming that it had me under for my entire life. Now, I want to pause right there and say this is something that is literally, kill it. your TV is killing you. I see friends, I see family who have been watching these programs on Hulu and all this crap, and they are... I'm not going to say brain dead, but they're approaching brain dead. Um, I'm, I hate to say it, you know, my own family. Uh, inability to think, inability to see, inability to reason, inability to um, be honest, inability to deal with facts, uh, stick the head in the sand, the ostrich, proverbial ostrich head in the sand, and that's kind of what we're seeing. And as Forrest Gump would say, would say it, he didn't say this, don't Mandela affect this, you can stick your head in between the ties of the railroad track and you won't see the train coming, but your butt is still going to get rond over. All right, so I am still not a believer in any religion nor have faith in any book written by men, no matter what is told to me about it being the word of God, but knowing the truth about the earth has brought me to play a place where I no longer have even the slightest doubt about this creation that we are alive in and the obvious fact that um, there is a creator. I am still not comfortable though jumping into a group of people that act like they know the truth about what the creator is or any other group that would have me pretend to have faith in their text as enough of a reason to think I was one of them. I just cannot lie to people's faces about something they may have complete faith in but I am still asking for the truth and whatever the truth is I'm okay with it and ready for it to move me where I need to be moved to. I just will never pretend to believe in or act like I know something that I have no proof of personally ever again. I'm content at this time to know that I've been lied to about nearly everything my entire life, and because I know this with such certainty, I am more comfortable in a way that I never was before these past two years, and the flat earth revelation awakening is the prime reason for this. I think I would like to speak with you soon, Jerry, and I will PM you my contact info. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you for your work, Jerry. I, for one, appreciate you and your service to your fellow humans. Thank you you for being you, my fellow warrior for the truth. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, yeah, amazing. That, that, that just, those are the kind of, uh, you know, I've been doing this for 17 years, you know, online and just, uh, just killing myself, literally. I mean, I had a heart attack because I pushed myself and pushed myself and spent so many countless, uh, you know, nights of research when I should have been sleeping and walk in the house. Just, dead tired, could fall on this concrete floor and sleep, you know, soundly, and I just, I do research for 12 hours, so, um, just amazing, uh, just, just that, the, so those kind of letters are, are, you know, that's what keeps me going, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, um, so, you can, you can look up these patents, um, Nervous system manipulation by electromagnetic fields from monitors. Nervous system manipulation by electromagnetic fields from monitors. Okay, another one. Um, <clears throat> I've got a whole lot better shots than this on this. A digital specific digital frequency can be custom designed to be sent to the end user of Hulu to produce a specified physical event. All that is needed for the computer... 
All that is needed for the computer to design this frequency is a sample of the victim's DNA. Woohoo! How many people have sent their DNA in to a lab and watch Hulu? Okay. Questions. Can latent designer flu and other killer viruses be activated by means of Hulu in civilian populations? They already answered that question. Yes. Can Hulu interface with Langley's master promise AI artificial intelligence computer, computer to work harmoniously with drones, spy bots, and robots via computer screens on selected individuals? These are all what you call um, rhetorical questions. Will this be the DHS's primary tool to quell civilian unrest when the U.S. banking system is collapsed? Is this why over 20% of the new digital bandwidth was given to the Department of Homeland Security in the name of public safety, i.e. crowd control? If these questions intrigue you, read on. <clears throat> okay. Baldwin explains that Hulu will more effectively turn your brain into mush when combined jointly with TV and computers. So, just a whole lot of... Uh... He, he then says that it is perfectly fine to have a mushy brain because we are aliens and we l l like them that way as they scoop the mushy brains away from the skulls. I missed that part. Oh, they didn't play it. Okay. Wow. I, the first time I read that. Who? Aliens. We like mushy brains when they scoop them away from the skulls. Uh, you want to read us something weird? Read up the, about the killer baboons of Black Fontaine in Africa. Once an animal or a human, this is true of alligators, it's true of lions, it's true of leopards, it's true of uh, baboons, it's true of every predator, including humans. Once they get the taste of human flesh, that's all they want. And these killer baboons of Lac Fontaine, maybe they were uh, mated with aliens, but they only liked human brains. They would smack people, crush their brains with a rock, and eat the brains. Crush their skulls and scoop the brains out. That is reads so much like this aliens thing. This is where poly, poly, polymathism comes in. <laughs> Polymathy. Polymathy. Um, you read widely and you come up with some weird connections. That's, that's a weird connection there. Absolutely weird. Uh... Alec Baldwin, he was in Hulu commercial, this isn't funny. Folks, I personally have witnessed victims of satanic ritual abuse testify in hypnotic regression sessions that demon reptilians appear in the center of the pentagram at the point of human sacrifice and based on higher hierarchical position are given the best human delicacies to consume with eager anticipation. The number one delicacy, you guessed it, folks, the brain. Number two, the heart, bowels, and viscerals in that order. Okay. Um... So just just a a wake up call. Be careful how much you're online. Be careful what you're watching, especially when it comes to movies and uh, stuff with a lot of sound and frequencies. <clears throat> um, there's a list of uh, so uh, I'm gonna cut this one off here pretty quick. A couple minutes. I mean, uh, just amazing. Justia patents. You can look all the patents up. There's 12 patents for mind control. Associative memory. One of them mentions being n-dimensional. That means uh, poly, multi-dimensional. N-dimensional means it's just unspecified. So, look it up. There's the better, much better. I'll pause here, but you you can look these up and screenshot them yourself, or do whatever you want with them. But you are now responsible for this information. Don't let yourself be become brain dead because of what you're watching online, on TV, especially the big HD TVs. They put out massive amounts of radiation and surveillance to right directly to the NSA. Who funded this free service? Hulu. The U.S. military and intelligence agencies primarily. Why? Ostensibly. Uh, supposedly, ostensibly, so the military and other civilian contractors can now access American programming anywhere on the planet. Well, of course they want our military brainwashed. Um, read that about Hulu. So, I would look it up, deal with it. Patents by inventor Hendrik Justia, look them up. I think that's about it, I don't know. I got better shots, yeah, but sorry about that and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah. Very bad.
members are. There's the one. Because we're aliens and that's how we roll. Richie was trying to not get uh, strikes there. That's the little alien green reptile snake hand is straightening his tie. It comes up and actually clasps this and tightens it up, snugs it up. Um, try not to get a copyright strike. So he was only had it on for a couple seconds. So it didn't say that it's about the part about scooping brains. But uh, I would suggest everybody take a look at it. This is your brain on TV. This is your brain on Hulu. This is your brain on Hulu Plus. Any questions? It's an evil plot to take over the world. Wow. Wow. Okay. I think I've uh, done enough there. This is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you're the remnant.